Welcome everyone! Here is the final master thesis of Sigurat Master of Global BIM Management. We are Group 5, the BIM Heroes, who joined from different locations. After one year journey, we learned fantastic things about BIM and how to work collaboratively and manage everything related to this technology. We worked hard to address the challenges and overcome the barriers in order to deliver the project of WeZig building successfully. In this presentation, we're going to present our master thesis defense. First, we're going to talk about the information management and the main documents related to it. We're gonna talk about common data environment and its main process. We're gonna talk about the agile methodology and how did we use it to manage the tasks. And sure, we will present the software and platforms used in the different phases. We will discuss the collaboration and coordination process and how did we simulate the construction process and estimate the cost of the project. And finally, the handover phase with the needed deliverable and we will show our final building information model for WESIC building. The team members acted different roles in the design phase and construction and handover phase. Ammar Saud as BIM manager and structural manager. Muhammad Izzat as BIM coordinator and MEB manager. Ayman Mahran as structural manager and BIM coordinator. Omar Nasrallah as architectural manager. Bilal Adredi as MEB manager and BIM manager and Ahmed Khalaf as MEB manager. Information management. At the early stage of the project, we were being represented as the client Zigrat. We have created the information exchange requirement EIR using Plannerly, managing all necessary information that the lead appointed party shall use to plan his BEP. All information about the project were given in the AIR from project information, project standards, responsibility matrix, to BIM uses and meeting schedules. Since the project was an IPD contract, the lead appointed party presented his BEP which is known to be a response to the AIR, in which all project related information would be reflected in this contractual document. Our BEP was created in several sections, highlighting the project requirements and responsible team throughout the project life cycle. Here what is meant by the responsible team is the different scenarios in which we played during the project life cycle, from curtain wall supplier to concrete designing company or finishes material supplier, since roles and responsibilities are changing as part of this masters. Now I will highlight the important sections of the BEP starting with project schedules, phases, milestones, BIM uses, goals and objectives, BIM process map, technology infrastructure needs, project deliverables, model structure, collaboration, coordination procedure, compliance plan and quality management, and of course terms and abbreviations in which we define acronyms used in this project. Project communication and data sharing is usually complex, which means that they need to be handled in very structured way actually and controlled emailing and file sharing between project members can quickly become chaotic and impossible to track and this is not just a simple question of housekeeping in the contract administration phase missing an important piece of communication or referencing an outdated plan can mean wasted time additional cost and in the worst case scenarios can lead to litigation as you know in the early stages of any project communication may be between a small group of organizations like the owner project manager and the design or construction firm and as the project progresses and specialist consultants join the team, the communication network becomes increasingly very complex. As described in the ISO 19650 part 1, the concept of the CD or the common data environment refers principally to the file sharing activities. 
and this includes all the project documentations, reports, plans and models. The CD mainly is composed of four subdomains or stages, which is work in progress, shared, published and archive. We've used as Group 5 BeamSync as a common data environment platform where we did all kind of information and data exchange and we've created the four stages as described in the ISO 19650 part 1. Also we've integrated the BeamSync with very powerful communication platform which is Slack to get all the team members instantly notified. BeamSync as a platform was the great source of information for WYSIWYG project for collecting, managing and disseminating each information container through a managed process. And in order to manage information, data and models in a professional manner in our group, we used BeamSync as a common data environment to satisfy the following criteria. First of all, we've agreed on a naming convention and metadata classifications. Secondly, the information container was in unique ID in accordance with the agreed naming convention. Also, the metadata had values assigned in compliance with that convention. And the following values like status, revision, classifications was assigned to each information container and we had the possibility also to modify each information container metadata according to its state of development from stage to another. We could also get the information container history log or the information exchange tracking for each changes of status with, with the following information username, dates, revisions and this made our collaboration very smooth and everything was in structured way. Agile. We have applied Agile methodology in our project. Using Scrum framework and Kanban board was based on the complexity and uncertainty of the project. This said, the pen manager played the role of the product owner. The BIM coordinator played the role of Scrum Master and the discipline managers were presented as the team. Project tasks breakdown was divided into epics, user stories and user activities, in which user activities was prioritized based on Moscow rule. Trello board has been used, in which we applied the agile approach creating several boards defining the project roadmap, user story mapping, sprint planning, and the active sprint. Each user story had its own naming convention to easily be tracked across the different boards. The first three digits presented the epic number, the second two digits presented the user story number, and the last three digits presented the release number. The following images shows our Trello boards that have been created along the project. Software and Platforms Since we are working in an open BIM environment, we had a variety of software to use in accordance with the BIM uses specified and agreed upon in the BEB. The following software were used during the design, construction and handover phases. Communication, Coordination and Collaboration before starting with this section, we are presenting to you our model federation and coordination strategy, the set of used software and how we managed to work in an open BIM approach. All models were exchanged in IFC format. In here, we will talk about the most important part of any project that shall be either designed, constructed, or handed over to any client in order to achieve the maximum result anticipated. 
Since we had our first introductory meeting as a group 5 heroes, we started with the simplest communication software. And while moving into the project, we started to use the proper tools for communication, coordination and collaboration. Slack was our official communication tool to share files and set meeting schedules with all the team members. This smart tool is connected to OneDrive, Trello and BIMSYNC as well. We made that connection to be easily notified with any change and to keep all team members updated. When the architectural model was completed during the design phase, the model was shared on BIMSYNC as a first step for coordination. It was the BIM coordinator who shared several design and coordination issues through BCF. Each member later did what was assigned to him. Therefore, issues were addressed and closed. The BIM sync was also used as a CDE platform in which each discipline manager, BIM manager, and BIM coordinator shared their files in organized folder structure. During later phases of the project, we managed to use BIM Collab and Solibri for proper clash detection, issue management, and tracking. Four D, Five D, Solibri, and Bentley Synchro. Switching to Four D and Five D, we have imported our model in an open bin. IFC format to the designated software in order to extract the needed information from quantity to classification to rule sets and so on. We managed to identify all classified elements in model as well as the unclassified elements, given, giving us the chance to make the proper model validation since it's part of the BIM use mentioned in the BEP. After the model validation, we extracted quantities, materials, and all related elements and items from the model and scheduled the information in Excel sheet to combine later on and create pricing schedule and quantities. Each of the above was filtered based on the floor level, material, price, sp and space, giving both us and the appointing party an easy knowledge about the project cost and its quantities. Again, with the open BIM, IFC format, the model was imported into 4D software in order to have a better understanding about the construction simulation, reflecting both construction phase and project timeline. This allows our site team management to identify safety issues during construction or construction element priority and in which the appointing party will have a clear idea on the project phase and the construction schedule. And over. The project is now over and the smile on our client's face shows a high level of satisfaction. However, in this final stage of the project, handover, we were requested to submit all documents related to the project, from graphical to non-graphical data. As part of the ISO 19650 information management, we have submitted to the appointing party the final AIM, which is an asset information model. As part of the ISO 19650 information management, we have submitted to the appointing party the final AIM, which is the asset information model. Alongside the AIM, we have submitted a Kobe spreadsheet for the client's facility management team. This Excel spreadsheet included all the contacts who worked on this project, in addition to the project information, levels, floors, spaces, types, components, and other systems. For elements and project classification, we have used the Uniclass 2015. Thank you, everybody. It's time to separate academically, but in the BIM field, we are one family growing bigger year after year. Your host for the evening, Group 5 Heroes. We will leave you now with some 3D renditions created by our team. Hope you enjoy.